In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick defensive tip that is gonna help you tremendously with your quarters and your palms coverages in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and uh, that'll let you get access to all the tips that we do. We do videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. And in this video, we're talking about match coverage, especially against compression. So that's match coverage against tight or bunch. For this video, we're gonna show you it out of bunch, but this concept applies um, to more than just bunch. And so I'm actually really excited to break this down for you. Now you can do this same concept out of the nickel 335 uh, wide defense that we have for you in our nickel 335 wide defensive guide. Um, I just happened to have the wide nine loaded up here. I was doing some labbing out of this, but the same concept does work from 335 wide um, because it's actually about uh, leverage and field coverage more so than anything else. We're actually really going to focus in on this video for an alignment specifically against compression where match coverage really gets glitched out has to do with alignment. And so we're going to talk about that in this video and we're going to give you a tool that you can apply to any defense that you run, whether it be 335 wide or any of the other ones. Now, if you want the best defense in Men 21, I would tell you right now to join our uh, true fan membership. It's just five bucks a month, and we break down every single week the best defense and the best offense or updates to those in in that uh, in that category for you there. So you get two video two videos on that end, and then you also get a pro player breakdown every single week. So. If you want my latest and greatest stuff, uh, be sure to join the True Fan membership. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about cover four palms or quarters. I've got both of them in my audibles. We're just going to talk about the coverage um, first. So this route concept from uh, the play flood does a really really good job at glitching out coverage uh, or quarters. So you'll see here if I run quarters, uh, I'm just going to press coverage. I'm going to pass commit. And what you're going to see is circle should get wide open for a one play touchdown. You see right there, he glitches the coverage out and he's open for a one play touchdown, right? That's, that's, that's basically the same route comb combination as the play flood. Um, another example of this would be from bunch tight end. And I'm going to try to recreate it as best as I can uh, from this curl flat play. But essentially what it is, is this right here. As you can see that we've created our, our concept, we're press coveraging, we're pass committing. And what you're gonna see is when we motion this receiver outside, this is gonna basically cause a little bit of a coverage glitch. And as you'll see here, we're able to throw this corner out. Okay, so those are really the two primary ways that people are going to glitch out your match coverage from the gun bunch. And so, or the bunch tight in or the tight doubles, right? It's really that motioned out route that's really the big one. So what we can do, and let me just show you for sake of uh, explanation here, that if I run the if I run the cover four palms, um, you're going to see. Let me get the fade uh, real quick. Let me get the fade, maybe. Um, but what you should see is circle should still beat it. You'll see right here, and he's not he's not going to beat it as bad. But as you can see, he still beats it. Um, I can swerve catch that, and it and it works right. Um, whether it's quarters or palms, it doesn't matter. Okay, palms is a little better, but uh, they both get glitched. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually go ahead and base a line and show blitz. Um, you don't have to, or no, 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 no. I don't want to show blitz. Here's the problem. So if I'm may, if I'm not base aligned, look where my safety or look where my uh, outside corner is. You see how he's inside. If I base a line, now you see he's outside. The reason this is significant is we never want this corner to have to take R1. We want the quarter flat to take R1. And so by this little alignment trick, what you're gonna see is if I try to go to the same, um, whoops, let me, let me get this, uh, let me get an out route out here for this guy. There we go. Okay, so if I try to go to that same route combination, now what you're gonna see is you get proper matching and we take that route combination completely away because we've now triggered in the in the quarters coverage in the in the actual coding of the game we've triggered this outside leverage that is very very valuable let me break this down in this replay I'm going to show you what's going on here so if we look at the coverage it's really important to look at who these guys are looking at okay it's really really important so what you're going to see here is 37 is instantly looking he's going to split 
So he's splitting between these two. Whichever one goes vertical, and by vertical I mean a streak, or a post, or a whatever. So in this example, 81 goes vertical, which he's the outside of the bunch. 37 takes him, and now look at this. We've taken away the play flood. The play flood, in my opinion, is the hardest play to consistently stop from gun bunch, and we've just taken away with one simple adjustment. This base align and press out of the cover four quarters is going to help it play a lot more like it should have already played in the first place. Um, let me give you another example. Let's take R1 and let's send him vertical and let's just basically do the same route combination and just change who is on the routes. What you're gonna see is we're gonna get proper matching principles once again. That safety does not get glitched out whenever you base the line. It's a really, really important point. I have been um, testing this out in, 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 MUT the, in, in MUT today and I've been having a lot of success with this coverage. Now let's try to do something like this, right? Maybe a traditional you know, Z spot type of flood concept. Um, let's just for the sake of the video, put the running back on a streak, maybe a slant, you know, really trying to get this coverage to, to break. And what you're gonna see is it plays darn near perfectly. The base line changes everything. Now I wanna show you one other, um, one other route and I'm not quite sure, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this fixes this problem as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that same route combination we just ran. The only difference is we're gonna motion out uh, circle. So you're gonna see here I'm just base aligning and we're gonna motion out, um, if I can get to him, I don't know why I can't get on him, there we go, motion out circle. Okay, now I just want you to watch what happens. What should happen is circle should pull coverages. So you see here, he does pull coverages and there is still that window at which you can throw the route to R1. But now what you can do as a defense, because you don't get glitched out anymore by circle on one route and then R1 on another route, now what you can do as a defense is you can take you know, this linebacker, so you can take like this defensive end, throw him in a three rack, you can take this guy right here and man him up onto R1. And now what you're gonna see is if we run that same combination, we're gonna have a decent opportunity to be able to make a stop. You see here how the defense flows and look at the safety help. He's throwing in a triple coverage. You've got people over in that vicinity. Because we've solved one part of a cover four quarters glitch with base alignment, so we don't get base, we don't get burned anymore over the top. The base align defense this year is super, super underrated. Um, let me give you another example. Let's do something like, um, let's just do something like this right here. Um, and I just want you to watch R1. You're gonna see the match coverage plays flawlessly and we're able to get interceptions. Base align your match coverage, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have not already gotten my uh, cover four quarters uh, defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video. I've been running match for about seven or eight months now. And this right here is the one thing that I think I've been missing. So try this out, let me know what you think because you get really, really, really advanced coverage with this. You can do this out of Big Nickel over G. You can do this out of um, Gun Bunch. You, which the real big thing that I wanna hammer home though, is you wanna keep this guy outside of R1. If, he were, if I were to show blitz, I just wanna show you what's gonna happen. So if I were to show blitz here and we ran the, and we ran the flood concept, I'm trying to create that for you here. So we're running flood, right? Watch circle. All of a sudden now, I mean, it, it does play better, but you you can do a little bit of you know a little bit of lob shriek in action or whatever. So I would just tell you, baseline and press and that's it. And and you'll be surprised at how this will play. This will play really really solid on both sides of the field. Um, you're gonna have a lot of success with this against three by one, whether it be tight doubles, whether it be bunch, whether it be bunch tight end. This is a very solid way to deal with compression sets um, because compression sets, I think, give the quarters coverage a little bit more trouble um, because the match rules don't always pan out the way they're supposed to. So this will help your defense play more exactly like it's supposed to, more based on its actual rules than... Um, then um, then, then what will happen if you don't. So I would encourage you, base align and press your match coverage. Let me know what you think of how it works uh, for you. And if you haven't gotten the defensive guide yet, it is available down in the description for you.